everything turned to gold for you. As it's my imagination. It must have been a wonderful feeling all the time. How would you? How long will this go on? What do you think? Do you have fear that sometimes it's, this muse it will not go on? It will not be the good way. Um, I think I think we had we had quite a lot of quite a lot of struggling times maybe before we released even the first album because because the band was together since the age of 16 really 17. We went to college for a little bit but we kind of didn't really complete it properly and, and we we really wanted to work in music. So from the age of like 17, 18, 19, 20 really even 21, those years was quite a difficult time for for the band because you know, we didn't really have money so we had to do jobs various jobs uh, to to keep the money for the band you know to make so we could make recordings. Um, it wasn't really until we started. Uh, Releasing albums and touring, that we started to uh, sort of have, uh, you know, have an enjoyment of the, of the process. It was, it was almost like the first few years was very much a struggle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we've been we, we've been um, we've been lucky in a way that the uh, I think I think every album is, is, is seems to be uh, I think I think musically better or improving from the previous album. You know, I, I think that we are constantly growing, and I think that. Um, and the kind of the amount of people which know us seems to be growing with each album. So I think I think that's something that's quite unusual. Um, Where will this lead to? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe at some point it's going to go, 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 go and then go, <laughs> <laughs> or, or it could just keep going. I don't know. But you know, uh, I'm sure I'm sure we are due we are due a failure <laughs> I think really? at some point. Yeah, I'm not sure what, but yeah, it's got, it, it, it's, it's going to come soon. I'm not sure. Maybe this, maybe the next one. But you know, but I think but I think we are prepared for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, listening to your new album, um, the single Uprising, they will not force us, they will not control us. Who is they? <laughs> Who is they, yeah. Um, I suppose, oh, let me think, when I, was, when I was making the album, I was reading a couple of books. Um, I read a book called um, Confessions of an Economic Hitman, which is quite interesting, which talks about... Um, uh, which talks about how yeah, these very large corporations basically exploiting the world, exploiting people, exploiting nature. Um, so I suppose you could say they is kind of or orientated towards what in that book he refers to as the uh, corporatocracy. <laughs> you know, the, the idea which that there is like a corporate um, uh, power which is above our governments, you know, and, and which have a lot of influence over our governments, you know. And 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 sometimes I think I, I, I watching the situation in England as well uh, with the MP scandal and uh, the banking crisis and uh, all of these things. Um, it's very easy to understand I think why young people, especially, or I'm not that young anymore, but, but younger people have no real trust for 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 politicians and for very powerful wealthy people because they feel that they are doing something very against nature. You know, and so so I think I think they is kind of like a general reference to these these people. <laughs> And how does it work, this kind of control, if they attempt to control us? How does this work? Is it just well, by it, finance? Or? Uh, it, works, it works, I mean, it works in many, many subtle ways. Um, one of the main ways it works is that in our, in our democrat, I don't know too much about the German political situation, but in England, the, the, uh, the political system is where you vote for a representative, like a, a, in a constituent area. And this person represents you in parliament and you hope, you really hope this person votes for policies that you agree with, you know, but what often happens is these people are very influenced by uh, lobbyists, you know, these people that work for large corporations. Um, uh, for example, the situation in, in uh, Scotland at the moment, in England, with this uh, this prisoner which was sent back to Libya, and people are researching and researching, and they are finding out that in fact there was like a, a deal that was done. This this is always the case, you know. There's there's many many deals which are done which are really. Really, the, the political classes, they, they regard the general public like a kind of, like a cattle, <laughs> you know? Like, just like a lot of animals or something which don't really have much ability to think. And, uh, and I think this is frustrating, you know? So, it happens in this way, really. I think it happens just because when people be become powerful, they often have a disregard for, for uh, public opinion. You know? One could say you're rather close to a big company too, like Time Warner. Yep, exactly. Yep. You know, we, we live. We live. I live in a capitalist society, yeah, and and these are these are the channels. The channels are used for communication. You know. So if if you, if you want to do art which is truly subsurf, subversive, I suppose you end up being very obscure. You know. But I, I'm doing something which is much more wider. You know, appealing to wider. You know, I would hope. Uh, uh, and I think that this is the best method to use. You know, so what can we do? We we live in this world. You know, we we are born we are born into it. You know, we are born in bondage, <laughs> as we say. But you know, you make make the best of what you have. <laughs>
Do you feel in control by Warner, or do you feel, wow, well, well, that's a way to bring some subversive text well, to the public? Well, I mean, I think the reason we have evolved into where we are is because we, we've always maintained 100% control over every aspect of the, that we are doing. You know, um, everything from the concerts we play, the type of promotional work we do, the type of music we record. I mean, fundamentally, the, the music we write, the music we record, is 100% our choosing. We, we have no interference. We had one moment of interference on the second album with the American record label, uh, Maverick, who, who tried to change the way we played music, and we, we had a big uh, argument with them, and we separated, uh, we separated company with them. Um, we, yeah, we, we work. We work with Warner's because they. I mean, the kind of deal we have is, is we have total control over everything. You know, they, they, they are. Um, they have uh, allowed us to do what we want. So that's that's the most important thing as for any artist, I think. And you titled the album Resistance. Um, is it what it's about? Resistance. Try to resist. How can how can a single person resist? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's uh, when you. Um, during the making of the album, uh, there was things happening like um, lots of protests in England, you know, and, and I, I found it interesting all the, the way um, the way that the media covers protesting sometimes is very negative, you know, they, and, and the police as well are always trying to make a, an aggravation, to make a, a violent aspect, you know. Um, peace, peaceful protest is, can be very, very powerful, you know. Uh, I, think, uh, I think if people really wanted to change something, they could change it just in a very peaceful way, you know, just everybody, you know, Refuse to pay the taxes, <laughs> or every, everybody refused to uh, everybody refused to, to go to work for a week, or refuse, you know, something. I don't know. I don't know. But you know, I, I'm. I think that it's. Uh, I mean, it seems like around with the um, with the internet. It seems like in the last few years, there's been a lot of um, people like me, really, who, who are thinking more about political things that I never used to think about. You know, and I think it's. Uh, because when I went to school, I remember like I never had any I never had any lessons who taught me about the political system. You know, it was always like talking about you know history or talking about you know English or you know French or you know, different languages or maths and science and stuff. But I don't remember there being any lessons about politics. You know, and it seems so strange that our schooling system. You know, I don't know about Germany, but in England, the schooling system seems to be very ignores politics very much. I mean, for children, you know, for young children. I mean, of course, of course, you can specialise. So. I suppose with the internet, I think it's, it's been a chance for, over the last few years, for people like me who are not really that interested in politics to be more, more uh, engaged or more um, able to see what's going on around the world much more than when you used to. You know.